Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about ground covers. And I'm going to start with my favorite one. This is the shady side of my house, and we have Pachysandra here. This Pachysandra has been here probably over 30 years. But look at that thick carpet of ground cover. It is just beautiful, and not a single weed will grow through it. Every now and then a tree sapling might come through, and um, I'll just take that out. But it is a complete ground cover, and it vines along the ground and spreads, um, not too quickly, unless it's in a spot it really loves, but it is just a thick, beautiful ground cover, great for a hilly, slopey area. And let me show you how pretty the leaf is. So it's going close. Isn't that beautiful? And I have given a lot of cuttings to friends, and it's a vine. It just goes, it kind of comes up about six to eight inches off the ground and creates this wonderful green pillow. So let me show you what it looks like as a, if I pull it out of my path, I'll show you what, oh, here we go. So here's what it looks like underneath all this beautiful foliage. It just has these green vines that spread across the ground. But it is such a beautiful, easy to transplant ground cover. And I just love that it's here and it's a completely maintenance free hill. So Pachysandra would be first on my list. Uh, this does prefer shade. It will grow in the sun, but it really prefers shade as you can see. One more thing to note about Pachysandra is that it is evergreen. It's always going to be green year round. That being said, it does look better in the spring and summer and fall, but it will always stay green. It will not die back and look brown. So it's a wonderful year round ground cover. Here is a hill of English Ivy. This is a ground cover I would never ever recommend planting. It gets out of control very fast. It climbs your trees. It's a high maintenance ground cover, I would say. You have to always be cutting it back off of the trees, and if you plant it near a house, you always have to be hacking it back. Um, it's a very vigorous vine. I don't think it looks so great in the winter either. Um, it will cover a slope quickly, which is why we originally planted it, but I would not recommend this plant. Think of this as a public service announcement. When I was six years old, we moved to a house and my mother planted ivy. And every weekend we lived there, we were hacking back the ivy. And I'm sure they're still hacking it back now. So I would not, as beautiful as it looks close up, it's a beautiful plant. Save this as an indoor plant and have a little ivy basket in your house. Avoid it as a ground cover by all costs. I would never recommend planting this. It's too much work. Here's a somewhat messy application of common periwinkle or creeping myrtle. It's a vinca plant. I believe this is vinca minor. And it is a beautiful, beautiful plant. It does not climb trees. I'm going to give you a close-up. It has beautiful dark green leaves. They are evergreen. It looks beautiful all year. And it does a really good job of keeping weeds back. This is an area I never weed. And there's not too many weeds at all. It's a very low-maintenance plant. I highly recommend it. It's a vine, and everywhere it touches the ground, roots will go down. So it's very, very, it's not too fast growing either, but it, but it does do a good job after a few years. You'll have a very thick, beautiful ground cover with these glossy dark green leaves. So I highly recommend the common periwinkle, Vinca Minor. Isn't that beautiful? has a very fine texture to it. Just beautiful. Very good for 
a shady or somewhat shady location. Here's the sunny side of my house and I have another vinca here which I think can tolerate shade but this is in full sun most of the day. But This is a variegated vinca and this is beautiful. It tends to look a little more wild. The leaves are bigger um, and it's very viney looking and it does do a little more climbing as you can see on my window. It does a little more climbing than the common periwinkle but look at the, how pretty the leaves are. Let me zoom in and show you. And it's very full coverage. Again, not a lot of weeds will come through this vinca. It's also known as vinca. But this is the variegated variety and it's very vigorous and beautiful. But you, if you want a wilder look than the common periwinkle and you enjoy variegated leaves, this is probably the one that you may want to pick. Let me get back and show you a bigger view. It just has a wilder look. Here's another ground cover I can show you called Liriope. Now this is a very vigorous grower and actually this is not a good application. This is in a bed in front of my house and I feel like this is better suited for a woodland where you don't mind the aggressive spread. It looks like beautiful grasses. It doesn't get any taller than this. Um, I guess it would be about 10 inches tall. And it is beautiful. It's green all year round, but it will really spread. And the underneath rhizomes are very strong and very hard to get rid of. And I'm going to show you why I say that. Here's a little patch of it coming out growing through the driveway. It's gone underneath the asphalt and pushed its way out. So maybe this isn't such a good idea to have it next to any paved areas, but it certainly is beautiful. Look at that. It's really beautiful. It, it's a very natural look and it sure is a complete ground cover. There are absolutely no weeds coming through this and I'm sure the ground underneath is very insulated. So I would say for the right application, Liriope is a wonderful ground cover. Just don't plant it next to your driveway. Here's a brand new ground cover that I've added to my garden. And I'm gonna zoom in here and see if you can see this metallic fly. I hope you can see that on film, it's so beautiful. I just love the creatures in my garden. But let me zoom back. I have planted little part little sprouts of this stone crop sedum throughout the front of this bed. And I was at my friend Lori's. You'll hear me talk about her a lot because she's given me so many plants. Let me zoom back. Uh, but she gave me, she reached down and grabbed a handful of this out of her the edge of her bed, it was growing into the grass, and she said, here, plant this, but plant it where you want it to spread. This will spread like crazy. And sure enough, I have stone crop sedum spreading throughout this bed, all around my little tiny boxwoods. And I just put small plants of it, but I noticed that if you have one tiny little sprout, it will take root and go crazy. So I'll be interested to see how it looks next spring. Some of the areas I guess where there was a little more moisture to work with have really really taken root. But it's just this beautiful delicate succulent stem with these dainty leaves and in the spring it gets a bright yellow flower. Late spring. So I'm hoping that this whole bed will be a bright yellow mass of flowers, a carpet of yellow flowers. Right now this is the best area of it. It really took off and when I tell you I hardly had any of it in here you probably wouldn't believe me but it was just a very small tuft of it that I planted in five different areas and it's really taken off. So 
so far I would recommend this plant and it just gives you a little bit of a different look it's a light green leaf and again those yellow flowers are gorgeous for about a week or two in the spring so those are the ground covers that I'd like to cover today and I want to thank you guys for tuning in and visiting my garden bye